Greetings and welcome to another edition of The Great Goddess. Praise be the goddess. Praise be the goddess. Well, here it is another Wednesday and today is Valentine's Day. And as you may already know, there was a mass school shooting today in uh, Parkland, Florida. I offer my prayers and condolences to the to the victims of the, the and the families of the victims of the school shooting, and uh, just hope and pray that something like this doesn't happen again, and that somebody does something about it, like like uh, institute some form of, some form of gun control to prevent people like this from getting a hold of weapons and and doing repeating the shootings that uh, have already occurred a repeat of the shootings that have already occurred and I think I, at last count there were 17 dead and uh, it was just an awful thing so I I offer up my condolences and my prayers to the victims of this shooting and hope that somebody does something about it and uh, today I will be discussing scary dreams now we all have them we all have scary dreams sometimes but uh, what what can we do about it what can we do about our scary dreams and what can we do about having these scary dreams and and what do they mean? Well, I'll tell you about a scary dream I had just recently. It was just a couple of days ago. I had a scary dream that I saw a demon. And this demon was white all over. And he had glowing red eyes. And he was smiling wickedly, as most demons often do. And at the very end of the dream, he popped out at me. And I woke up with my heart beating like this, beep, 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 beep. And um, it took me some time to recover from the scary demon that I saw in my dream. Uh, but that it, everybody has dreams like that, and dreams like that happen. And I think in my case, the dream was a prediction of the future because this, this uh, boy was in, demonically inspired to shoot up a school and uh, I don't know if you could call him a boy or just call him a young man but he shot up a school and he was obviously demonically inspired so maybe the, hence I saw a demon that was a foreboding of what was to come in the next few days so our bad dreams can have a predictive quality to them. They can be predictive of the future. Now, does that always happen? Do we always predict our dreams in the future? No, but we, uh, we, uh, we can sometimes be predicting the future, but not always, not always. Sometimes we just have scary dreams for no apparent reason and we'll, we'll never know why. We had a scary dream. I have scary dreams quite often. And uh, as you know, I was abused as a child. And that's one of the reasons why I have scary dreams. But I I have scary dreams outside of, of what you would consider normal. I have more scary dreams. So that's something that I... I have to deal with. I have to learn to live with it. I have to learn to deal with these scary dreams because I have them all the time. And uh, as far as the demon is concerned, uh, I'm not afraid of him. He scared me in the dream because he popped out at me. That scared me, but um, you know, the demon doesn't scare me at all. And and uh, think having something pop out at me does scare me. So. That's what why I had a uh, uh, bad experience and had my heart beating really fast because it, it was a scary experience having something pop out at me. But 
the the demon itself can't scare me and just tell yourself you're not going to be scared you're not going to let scary dreams get the better of you and you're going to be strong be strong be tough against them now does goddess have anything to do with scary dreams well other than being the creator of the universe not no but she does have she did have some influence in us having scary dreams after all she created scary things so we don't we don't want to blame goddess for our scary dreams but if you do blame goddess for your scary dream just remember that she can that you can pray to her to take your fear away from you so that these things don't trouble you anymore and you can also pray that she takes away the scary dreams that's a good prayer to offer to goddess and uh please take your scary creations away from me that's that's the summation of the prayer that you would that you would make to goddess and just remember that we all have scary dreams we all have them they happen all the time and sometimes like mine they predict the future sometimes not sometimes they're no predictor of the future they're just something that's scary that upset you and um yeah these things come out of our subconscious mind so the subconscious mind is on a wavelength that it can tune in to other people's thoughts and feelings and sometimes see some scary things but those things are just a creation of another person and not yourself they're not anything to do with you so you don't have to feel scared by them you don't have to feel scared of what you see in a dream and uh, sometimes the dreams are some scary dreams are something that we've created ourselves we've created something out of our basic fears that we ha all have something out of our basic fears we've created something scary so that's another thing to keep in mind that scary dreams can be a reflection of something scary that's in our own psyche so my best advice for scary dreams is to be tough tough them out and try to think more pleasant thoughts so that you don't have the scary dreams that's the best advice I can offer but I can't offer any advice beyond that because it's just it's your own scary dreams and you there's nothing you can do about them except to be prepared for a scary dream when you have one I'm Sarah Jane Alpha Wolf signing off uh, have a terrific week and uh, don't let scary dreams trouble you <laughs>